Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to get the setup done uh, of our thread website. So first off, let's jump into VS Code. And in here, when you just go ahead and open up uh, the resource files, uh, resource files for this project, you're going to see the HTML files, the CSS and, and um, the images as well as the JavaScript file. Now, uh, something about JavaScript, we are going to use JavaScript to make our navigation fully responsive and that is not something that re that is required from you to know for, to complete this project I'm just gonna give you the code and the only thing you have to do is copy paste it um, uh, um, so let's just go ahead and let's dive in uh, so first off let's take a look at our images so within the images folder we have a few images here and then we have six images for our testimonials which we are going to use these are the resources so first off what i'm going to do is because this project is the first project of this tutorial series i'm going to go step by step and we're going to build on top of that so first off i'm going to create a file and i'm going to call it index.html now again when it comes to creating files uh, like html css javascript the name doesn't really matter but there are some best practices that you could follow and that would uh, make your code, your organization of your files look a little bit more professional. Now when it comes to HTML, the name index is useful if you want your website to rank high because then the search engine will actually know okay, where the actual content of the website is coming from and that is coming from the index.html. So it's, it's a common practice. So here is our index.html. We are going to create another HTML file as well. That is going to be signup.html. So, so far we have two HTML files. I've not provided anything. I'm going to provide them later. Then we are going to create our style.css file. This file is going to contain all of the CSS that we are going to need to complete this project. And believe me, there, there is a lot of CSS. There are possibly more than 800 lines of CSS. So we are going to practice everything you've learned so far, and we are going to practice so much more. And uh, finally, I'm going to create a JavaScript file. You don't have to worry about this. Don't worry. It just, I'm just going to tell you to copy paste because I'm not going to teach JavaScript in this video. I've, I want to dedicate a complete tutorial series for JavaScript as well or by the time you're watching it, it, it will have been uploaded then. So, uh, first off, let's go into our index.html. Let's generate our boilerplate. We know how we can generate that. And index.html basically contains the entire content of our uh, website. So, I'm just going to provide the title as thread. Now, when it comes to websites, there are some things that you could borrow from online resources, uh, like fonts, like icons, like uh, you can see these tick marks, these check marks. These are icons. This clock, this uh, HTML code, this responsiveness, these are all icons which I've grabbed from a certain website, which I'm going to tell you how you can do that. Now, and the fonts that are in CSS, they're pretty limited. so. We use actually in external resources to uh, basically to grab and uh, other fonts that are like more diverse when it comes to font families and more diverse when it comes to font styles. So let's just dive into our Chrome window for a bit. Uh, for fonts, my suggestion for you for like 99% of the times is Google Fonts. This is simple. It's free on top of that. It is free and there are thousands upon thousands of font families that you can use in your project. Believe me, you will not be creating any project that the font is not here. So for the most part, 99%, you're going to come to this website. Now, how can we create, how can we grab fonts from here? So if you have a font in mind, a, the name of a font in mind, then you can just go ahead and type for, type that and find that. But if you don't have any any font, uh, font size or any font style in mind, you can just go ahead and there are basically different examples, and you can select any font that you want. The font that I'll be using, its name is Fredoka. There are two different fonts. One is Fredoka. So when you find 
that font that your font family that you're looking for just click on it and another window is going to pop there's a lot of info here but i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to show you how you can grab this so this part light 300 regular 400 medium 500 these are the font weights that we have studied in css and what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the light uh, 300 just go ahead and click on this select the style i'm going to grab it and you're going to see that this is the link that we are going to paste in our html file i'm going to decipher this link for you as well so i'm going to select this one this one and this one and it is also going to show you how you can use this in css what is the property so it is font family and it says for doka sans serif now this is the first font that we have selected i've told you that I'm, I'm going to select two fonts the second one is going to be poppins i'm going to click on it and you can select like 10 different fonts doesn't really matter except the italic which i'm which i which i rarely use i'm going to select all the other styles so thin 100 uh, extra light 200 and then light 300 regular 400 okay let's keep clicking medium 500 this is semi bold and this is bold and we have extra bold i may not use all of them but i like selecting all of them <laughs> so now our uh, link is completed i'm just going to say copy and i'm going to come in here i'm going to say google fonts link pretty descriptive right and i'm going to paste that and i'm going to save that so what do we have here in here just go ahead and ignore these two lines the most important line is this one so the first family that we have is for doka i'm going to zoom in so you can really you need to know all of this this that you have selected so you can use that in css uh, we have uh, for doka the font weight is 300 400 5 6 and 700 and then the second font family is poppins with the width starting from 100 to all the way to 900 so that's actually what we have been we have done so far now the next resource that you could you have to go to and you have to basically uh if you want to use icons of course it is font awesome if you have any experience with html and css then i'm sure you have heard of this but this if this is your very first time just go ahead and click on start for free then in here you need to enter your email address or just go ahead and uh, just enter your email address then it is going to send you your kit you can use that kit code in your uh, css file in your html file as a link and then you'll be able to use uh, all of the icons it's a very simple process you basically have to sign up and it's very simple it's going to give you the kit and just copy paste it into your html file now I'm, i could give you my own kit which i'm going to do the only issue with my kit is that because this is a free kit it has a certain um, a certain number of calls per month so if there are like ten thousand people using this kit code with this code so this code is going to be different for every one of you the rest is going to be the same if like 10,000 people are going to use it, maybe like all of them can just make calls like 10 times in a month. And when you create a project, you usually make calls like hundreds of times. So just keep in mind that when uh, you're using my kit code, it, I don't really care about that. You could do that. That's okay when it comes to security. The only thing that I have to hide from you is my API key, which again, as your teacher, I cannot do that either. So I'm not going to do that now uh, just go ahead and make your own and if you don't know where you can find just look for wherever you you can see this script and it is going to show you where the script actually is so now we are done with the font awesome link we are done with the google fonts link it's very simple again the font awesome link is very simple just go ahead and look for the script and then insert it on the in the head part of your html document the final thing that I like to do here is I'm just going to link our CSS style sheet. I'm going to say link and then style.css. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.